So welcome back Lobby, this is Pokemon Show bringing some Pokemon Go goodness for you. So trainers, today is the very day the Luna New event has went live in Pokemon Go and you can actually see the event theme based spawns appearing more frequently in the wild in raids and hatching from eggs basically. Also during the event duration there will be a time based research available in today's view which is known as Lucky Wishes. So in the very first step of the research you will ask to complete tasks like uh, catch 5 Pokemon spin 3 Pokestops and power Pokemon 5 times which will reward you various items and rewards. So today's video is gonna be the video where we are going to complete our very first steps. So without any further ado, let's get started. So trainers, we have moved to our new location because there is a task to spin 3 Pokestops of gyms. So we have successfully done that and there is a third task which is asked to power a pokemon five times so we have chosen lucky pokemon because it requires less charges so here we successfully completed the third out of third task for the lucky wishes time based research so now it's time to claim our reward so we get 20 normal pokeballs after that we get 15 great balls and after that we get two silver pinup berry and now it's time to claim our ultimate reward so here it goes we get 500 amount of stardust and we get uh, one lucky egg and 5000 xp and we are now heading towards the another part of the time based research so here the professor below comes and it's saying some thing so let's quickly skip this whatever the professor below is saying so after moving forward we have to choose three path so i as i previously said in the video you have to choose path which you are moving to so trainers if you choose the very first path of this lucky wishes time based research you will be getting the half egg hatch distance when you place your egg into the incubator and you can hatch those event based egg even faster so the second will be the use daily adventure incense so previously as you know that the daily adventure incense timer was only for 15 minutes but if you choose this path then you will be able to use your adventure instance for 30 minutes and you will be challenged to complete tasks like uh, catch a certain amount of pokemon by using your adventure instance and you can actually encounter the galarian darumaka while you use your adventure instance so tennis if you choose the collecting stardust path you will be challenged to complete a task like uh, complete uh, 5000 stardust, complete 2000 stardust and somewhat like that and trainers will be receiving double catch stardust no matter which pokemon you got until the duration of the lunar new year event 2023 so which path i am choosing i will let you know in my next video so yeah trainers this is it all for today's journey with 90 games i hope you guys did enjoy this lunar new year event 2023 so let me know in the comments down below which path you have chosen for yourself is it hatching eggs using daily adventure incense or catching starters whatever it is let me know in the comments down below so trainers with that being said thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash the like button subscribe if you are new and i will definitely catch you guys adventuring discovering exploring our surroundings because ad Niantic says adventure is out there so in hope i will definitely meet you out there someday or so so until then bye guys